Hey everybody, I'm here with my vinyl update. Um, yesterday was Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Um, I went up to Avon Flea Market with my dad and my mother and we kind of just, we do it every year. So um, I only had 20 bucks and I spent 16. So I'll show you what I picked up. First was some 45s. <clears throat> California Dreamin', the Mamas and the Papas. This is obvious. This is a reissue, uh, Golden Goody Hit series. Roulette. And these were just really nice shape. And uh, I really like the song California Dreaming. This is a all reissue as well. Happy Together, the Turtles, and the Walking Song is the B side. Um, a better version, this is actually a reissue as well, but Sweet Cherry Wine and Crimson and Clover, Tommy James and the Shondell, reissue. Alright, Sammy Davis Jr. Now. Uh, this is actually really cool. It's uh, on the MGM label. I don't know why I looked at this one. I could have just bought the, label, the record. And it's beautiful. Not a scratch on it. And uh, this spot, the records, I got the this in a Sinatra album and 345s. And uh, they were selling them really cheap. And they ended up giving me 145. But I'll show you. This folds out. Ooh, like that, which is cool. And then this, the other side, folds out like that. Really cool. I actually did not know that it did that until I uh, got it out today. Uh, I already had this one. My my dad found it. Uh, it's actually in a lot better shape than mine, just because mine is was my uncle's old album. And it's Rod Stewart. Every picture every picture tells a story. And. Uh, Pretty sure this is Mer Mercury Records. I cannot talk. Yep. It's just in beautiful shape. The Beach Boys 69. Um, I have a green label reissue. I have no idea if this is the original or not, but it's on the orange capital label. Really nice shape. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, you're going to get it. This is the original. I have the Italian pressing, so this is the original American pressing. Which is cool. It has a little ring wear, but in amazing shape. Um, it has the original sleeve, but somebody, you know, wanted to protect the album, so put a different sleeve in there. There's the cool label. I really like this label. Really nice shape. Um, this was one of the two dollar ones I found. Gary Lewis and the Playboys Rhythm on Sunset Records. It's through Liberty Records, which was his uh, original label. I think I have a Gian and Dean on Sunset as well. And this was just. For the age of it, I cannot find anything, not even a butterfly scratch. It's amazing. I don't think it was ever really played. I buy this from the usual seller I buy from. It's an older gentleman. He's there with his uh, son. And he always has really nice stuff. Here's another one. I don't usually listen to Slim Whitman, but uh, it was a dollar and it's a picture disc. And it's a promo, not for sale. I thought it was cool. And uh, it's in really nice shape. Give it a shot for a dollar. I mean, oops, wrong way. I gotta take this out. But it does have a little bit of water damage on the front, but I figured, what the heck, for a buck. This is the same one that I got with, uh, yeah, the Sammy Davis Jr. 
My Kind of Broadway, which I've been looking for. I had a really junky promo that I ended up getting rid of years ago and couldn't find this one in amazing shape. It's not rare or anything. I just couldn't. I'm just picky. But uh, this one's in nice shape. It's, in a, it's a mono pressing. My other one was so bad, uh, I didn't even, wouldn't even listen to it. So this one's a really decent copy. If I could find this and shrink, it'd be amazing. Last one, um, I had uh, like a really cheap 50 center Shiloh Neil Diamond on Bang Records because the cover was so perfect. But I found an even better one from the guy that I usually buy from the older gentleman. And uh, the dots aren't connected. Neither was my other one, but but this is pristine. I mean, he has really nice stuff. Um, and it's getting down to the nitty-gritty with Neil Diamond. Uh, I think I need his first album, which I found it, but some guy wanted $90 for it. and I like Neil Diamond, but half the time I don't even spend $90 on Beatle albums anymore, so I don't have the money, but that was my vinyl update, and uh, I hope everybody had a great Father's Day, great weekend, um, there might be more, I don't know, um, things have been kind of tight a little bit, so I've been shopping pretty, th you know, I usually shop pretty thrifty, but I've been even more thrifty, but I've gotten lucky with some finds, uh, especially the Neil and the Tom Petty and this round. So, all right, everybody, take it easy. Peace.